We already came on fire for him. So let's just begin. We want to enter into this place and have an open heaven. So Father, we give you the glory. God, you are so good and you are so kind. And Father, we just thank you because you're matchless in all of your ways. Lord, we are grateful for the women in Zion who have come to meet you this evening, Father God. Because they came, you're going to show up, Father God. Because their hearts are drawn to you, you've got to show up. We thank you and we praise you for it, God. Now shower, shower down your spirit this evening, Father God. We decree and declare an open heaven, Father God. Lord Jesus, an open heaven, Father God, in Ecuador, and an open heaven in Tanzania, and an open heaven, Father God, in Texas, Father. We speak it now, Lord Jesus. Father God, because you are omniscient and you are omnipotent, Father God, all power belongs to you. And we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Now, Father, every Esther in the house, Father God, raise your voice and give God a praise. Every, every Deborah, begin to get on your feet and shout hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you, Father God, for in here we grow and we glow in you, Father God. In here we rise and shine because our light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us today. So we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, God, you are so good. Well, we are just so, uh, you can tell, fire's already, um, I'm stoking the fire, stoking the fire. So, of course, we are going to start this Friday night off like we have started our Wednesday and our Thursday with worship. There is none like this worship leader, leader, Naya Cotton. She is a blessing. I can personally say she has been a blessing in my life. She's been my worship leader, my vocal coach, my inspiration, the one who nudges me and says your voice needs to be used for the kingdom and not just me, but she has a voice that is sp speaks to women. So it is such a blessing. I want to just introduce you to her. If you don't know, Naya is a worship leader. Leader. She serves in several ministries around the DFW Metroplex and, and states and cities wide. She is, her husband is Roy and she is a proud parent of three amazing children. She has led worship for a Bishop T.D. Jakes at Megafest for the Dallas Wings and WNBA basketball team. And she has done background vocals for uh, Tasha Page Lockhart and Tamil Mann and Chance the Rapper and Kirk Franklin. I mean, we can go on and on and on. But one thing about this woman of God is that she loves the Lord. And when she steps in and opens her mouth, atmospheres change and the presence comes down just because her heart is fixed on him. So without further ado, I'm moving out the way and make room for our worship leader for tonight, Miss Naya Cotton. Bless us as she comes. You were there at the beginning, one with God, the Lord most high. Your hidden glory and creation now revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. And nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. Oh, you didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. Hallelujah. My sin was great. Your love was greater. What could separate us now? 
What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. Death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. You silenced the bones of sin and grave. The heavens are of rain. The praise of your glory. For you are raised to life again. You have no rival, you have no equal, now and forever, God, you reign. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory, yours is the name of what a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing can stand against. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a merciful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a gracious name it is. The name of Jesus. Jesus, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus, 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 there is something about that name. I call you master, savior, Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain. Your name is Yeshua. Yeshua, Jesus, let all heaven and earth proclaim that kings and kingdoms will all pass away, but there's something about that name. There is a name I love to hear, I love to sing. It's worth it like music in my ear the sweetest name on earth oh how i love jesus oh how i love jesus how I love Jesus because he first loved me. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. 
praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Father, we love you. We thank you for your presence where there is fullness of joy. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We see new mercies every single day and we say thank you. Thank you for waking us up again, another beautiful day. There were so many that had plans for the day and for whatever reason, they weren't able to awaken to this brand new day, but you saw fit for us to experience your presence, your goodness, your joy, your peace, your favor, your love. And for that, we say thank you. I bless every single person on this Zoom. I thank you for my sisters. I thank you for Shiloh and her vision. I thank you that you've created us to grow. You created us to glow with your glory. As you shine your glory on us, we shine it into the world and we point people toward the cross. There is room at the cross for all of us. And so Lord, allow us to be bold in our confession Allow us to be bold in our prophetic, um, our prophetic gifts, our prophetic uh, acts, Lord God. Be, allow us to be bold in our faith and what we speak and what we say, because there's a dying world that's in need of a living Savior. And so we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this moment of praise and worship. And we say, have your way. Have your way. Be in us. Be through us. Be all around us. And we will always be careful to give your name and your name alone the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God, you are so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Right here, right here, ladies, right here is the time to give them glory. Right here is the time to give them praise. Right here is to grab a hold of the boldness he's placed inside of you. Right at this moment, don't miss this moment. Oh God, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Mm, such a good father, such a wonderful name. Thank you, thank you so much. Naya, for blessing us, for bringing us into the throne room, for us laying at the Father's feet and hearing his voice over the women tonight. We love you. Thank you. Well, as we are just coming more in, we got we to gotta step even further into his glory because mm, something about that name just draws me in. Something about that name that's so beautiful and so wonderful and so powerful just pulls us into his presence even more. So I want to bring us in to our speaker for tonight, Pastor Raquel Orr. Pastor Raquel is a creative woman of God who comes from a family of ministry. She hosts on the ABC TV Canal 46 in Ecuador. Pastor Raquel is a former assemblies candidate for the government in the area of education in Ecuador. She is a graduate of CFNI. She is in full-time ministry with the love of her life and her husband. Pastor Raquel has a passion for youth and children's ministry. Without further ado, God, we, we are so grateful for your daughter in Zion to break forth the word. We move out the way. Pastor Raquel, bring the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Muchas gracias. Amen. Thank you so much. Gracias por esta invitación. Thank you for having me here. Eh, estoy muy agradecida con Dios y por la vida de Shiloh. I'm really thankful for God for Shiloh's lives. Y porque me da esta oportunidad de compartir con ustedes. And because he gives me this opportunity to share with you. Es un honor. It's an honor to me. Y hoy quiero compartirles acerca de promesas cumplidas. And today I want to share about promises. En la palabra de Dios dice, In God's word it says, en 2 de Corintios 1.20, 2 of Corinthians 1.20, porque todas las promesas de Dios son en el sí y en el amén. For all the promises of God find their yes in him. Y amén. Amén. Ok, la promesa viene de la palabra prom promisus. So promise comes from the word promisus. 
que significa entregar antes. Which means to give before. La promesa es la expresión de la voluntad de alguien hacia otra persona. The promise is the expression of the will of the will of someone to do otro. something for another. Y Dios, so God, en su corazón, in his heart, quiere compartir con nosotros. He wants to share with us aquellas promesas, that promises que tiene para nosotras. He has for us a fin de que nosotras, so that we can, las creamos, believe in them, y caminemos en ellas. And walk with them. La palabra de Dios dice, God, God's word says, en Jeremías 29:11, on Jeremiah 29:11, que los pensamientos que él tiene para nosotras, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans of welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and hope. Y eso nos da seguridad. And that gives us security. Y eso nos da confianza. And that gives us uh, Self-confidence. A veces vemos los problemas. Sometimes we see problems. Y las situaciones que pasan alrededor. And our circumstances. Y no sabemos cómo Dios va a cumplir sus promesas. And we don't know how God is going to do it to fulfill his promises. Pero tenemos que seguir. But we must continue. Tenemos que perseverar. We must persevere. En la palabra de Dios. En, en God's, números, in God's words, in numbers, 23, 23, 19 al 20, from 19 to 20, léalo. God is not man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not fulfill it? Dios había determinado bendecir a su pueblo. God has determined to bless his his people habían enemigos there were enemies que querían que el profeta el profeta Balaam maldiga al pueblo who wanted uh, the prophet ba Baal Balaam Balaam maldiga al pueblo curse the people of Israel y y Dios ya había determinado bendecirlos and God had already determined to bless that people Ninguna arma forjada, dice la Biblia. Nada que venga contra ti va a prosperar. Anything that comes against you will prosper. Porque el Señor ya tiene un plan de bendición. Because God has already a plan to bless your life. Y a veces, and sometimes, vemos cosas negativas que pasan. We see negative things happening to us. Y como que queremos quedarnos paralizadas. And we want to like stay paralyzed. Pero el Señor, but God, quiere que continúes. Wants you to keep on going. Dios le dio una promesa a Abraham. God gave Abraham a promise. Cuando él no tenía hijos. When he didn't have children. Y en Génesis 15, and in Genesis 15, Del 1 al 6, lo va a leer. From 1 to Uy. 6, it says, After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Fear not, Abraham, I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abraham said, O oh Lord God, what will you give me for I continue childless? And the hair of my house is Eliezer or Damascus, and Abraham said, Behold, you have given me no offspring, and a member of my household will be my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir, your very own son shall be your heir. And he brought him outside and said, Look toward heaven and number the stars. If you are able to number them, then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. And he believed the Lord and he counted it on to him as righteousness. Cuando Dios nos da una promesa, when God gives us a promise, tenemos que creerla. We must believe it. Y atesorarla and cherish it. Porque cuando la creemos, because when we believe it, está hecho. It's already done. Aunque las circunstancias parezca que no va a pasar. 
even if circumstances make us believe that it will not happen, it will. Dios quiere que nuestra fe esté en él. God wants our faith to be put on him. A veces la ponemos en el hombre. Sometimes we put our faith on men. El trabajo. On our work. Finanzas. On our finances. Promesas de hombre. Uh, a man's promises. Pero muchas veces eh, eso nos falla. But sometimes that people fail to us. Y Dios lo permite. And God allows that para que nuestra confianza, nuestra fe, so that our confidence and our faith esté en él, to be on him y sus promesas, and his promises, en un padre bueno, in a good father, en un padre is, lleno de amor, in a full of love father we have. Cuando conocí a mi esposo, when I met my husband, tuve que viajar a Estados Unidos. I had to travel to the United States. Y decirle chao, en ese tiempo éramos amigos. And tell him goodbye, in that time we were just friends. Y viajé a Estados Unidos. So I went to the United States. Y en mi corazón deseaba poder eh, conocer pronto a mi, al que fuera mi esposo. And in my heart, I, I wanted to meet soon with the one who was going to be my, my future husband. No sabía que ya lo conocía. I had no idea already know him. Entonces estaba como con mucha ansiedad de conocerlo. Ya le decía al Señor, he esperado por tanto tiempo, ya quiero conocer la persona correcta. So I was really anxious to meet that man. I, I have been praying for so many times to know him. Guardando mi corazón. Taking care of my heart. Orando mucho. Praying a lot. Yo sé que ustedes me entienden. I know you understand what I'm saying. Y un día adorando al Señor, so sometime, uh, well, well, I was praising the Lord. El Señor me dijo, Raquel, estate tranquila, Está, eh, ten, ten paz. The Lord told me, Raquel, stay calm, have peace. Porque te vas a casar. Because you will get married. Y vas a tener hijos. And you will have children. Pero eso en el futuro. But it was in the future. Pero solo esa palabra de Dios. But just that word of God. Puso en mi corazón paz. Put peace on my heart. Y seguridad. And security. Que lo que dice la palabra. That what the word of God says. Es realidad para mi vida. It's real for my life. Que él tiene pensamientos de bien para mí. That he has something good for me. Y un futuro de esperanza. And a future of hope. Y Dios nos da esas promesas porque esas promesas nos llenan de fe. So God gave us that promises because that promises fill us, fill us with faith. Y cuando quiere venir el enemigo a poner pensamientos negativos. And when the enemy comes to put negative thinking or thoughts in our heads. Que eso no va a pasar. That it will not happen. Que este nos va a dejar el tren acá decimos, o sea, que, que, que eso no va a pasar. That in, in, in her case that she won't find a husband. Eh, sí. Eh, la palabra de Dios disipan o eliminan esos pensamientos negativos. The word of God like took those thoughts away, make them disappear. Así como Jesús. Just like Jesus. Cuando fue tentado en el desierto. When he was tempted in the desert. Así. Sí. <laughs> él, tenía, él tenía hambre. Jesús tenía hambre. Había pasado he por un was, ayuno. He was hungry. Y Satanás le dijo, convierte esa piedra en pan. So Satan told him, turn that stone into bread. Y él dijo, no, no. No solo de pan vive el hombre. And he said, no, no. Uh, man doesn't just live from bread, sino de toda palabra, but from every word que sale de la boca de Dios. From God, It, that comes from God. Entonces, eh, cuando vienen pensamientos negativos a nuestra mente, so when negative thoughts come to our mind, nosotros tenemos que hablar la palabra de Dios. We must speak the word of God y decir la palabra de Dios dice. And say the word of God says this. Que sus promesas son reales para mi vida. That his promises are real for my life. 
que él está conmigo, que no estoy sola. That he is with me, that I'm not alone. Que tiene planes de bien para mi vida. That he has good plans for my life. Y Jesús sabía and Jesus knew que no era su tiempo de comer. That it wasn't his time to eat. Porque él tenía una promesa. Because he had a promise. Porque él tenía un propósito. Because he had a purpose. Que era mayor. That was bigger. Que su deseo en ese momento. Than what he wanted in that moment. Era eh, el propósito de traernos salvación. It was the purpose to bring us salvation. Porque él tenía esa meta. Because he had that goal. Entonces, eh, con la palabra. So, with the word of God. Él pudo seguir adelante. He could continue. Eh, específicamente hablando de esta área de las cosas del corazón. Specifically talking about this area of romantic thing. <laughs> A veces decimos, yo seré feliz cuando tenga novia. Sometimes we say, I will be happy when I have a boyfriend. Y llega el novio. So the boyfriend comes to y, our lives. Y sientes que aún te falta algo. And you still feel like something's missing. Después dice, no, cuando tenga dinero. And then you say, like, I will be happy when I have money. Y viene el dinero, y el dinero no te da la felicidad. And then comes the money, and money just doesn't make you happy. No, sí, cuando me case, seguro voy a ser feliz. Sometimes we say, when I get married, I will be happy. Pero solo Dios puede llenar tu corazón completamente. But just God can fulfill your heart completely. Con su amor. With his heart. Con su with paz. With his love, with his peace con su eh, esa identidad with his identity que te da como hija de Dios the identity he give you as a child of God entonces Dios quiere primero completarnos llenarnos so God wants to first fulfill us para luego nosotras eh, poder también ser hacer feliz a alguien también so o that, compartir con alguien so that after we are fulfilled, we can share that with another one También. and make them happy too. Entonces, eh, Ecclesiastes 3.1 dice que todo tiene su tiempo y su hora. So, Ecclesiastes 3.1 says, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. Entonces, a veces es difícil entender eso porque queremos las cosas ya. And sometimes that is really difficult to understand because we want everything right now. Pero el Señor nos está procesando. But God is working with us. A veces yo decía, Señor, yo quiero que sea cariñoso, trabajador, detallista, romántico, sometimes, mi futuro esposo. Sometimes I said, Lord, I want my future husband to be romantic. I want him to give me uh, gifts. I want him to be... Trabajador. Nice to me, work, a hard worker. Y el Señor me decía, está bien, yo lo voy a mandar así, pero ¿qué hay de ti? And God tell me, like, it's okay, I will send him that way, but what about you? What about you? Uh -huh. Entonces yo le decía, está bien, Señor, trata conmigo. And I told him, it's okay, Lord, just work through me. Y, y él te va procesando. And he will process you. Así como se procesa el oro. Just like gold. Que tiene que ser pasado por el fuego. That it has to be put under fire. Y muchas veces los problemas, la, los obstáculos que ves. And sometimes problems and the obstacles we find. Son parte del proceso. Are part of the process. Para que crezcamos. So that we can grow. En fe. In faith. En dependencia de Dios. Being more dependent on, on the Lord. Así es. Y, y entonces el Señor va a obrar. And God will work. Um, el Señor tuvo que sanar en mi vida antes, antes de que yo viajara a Estados Unidos. So before I traveled to the United States, yo había abierto mi corazón a una persona que no era la correcta. I had opened my heart to the wrong person. Y esa persona me traicionó. And that person cheated on me. Y eso causó mucho dolor. And that caused a lot of pain. Pero en ese dolor. But in that pain. Yo se lo entregué a Dios. I gave it to God. Le entregué mi corazón. 
I gave him my heart. Para que lo sanara. So that he can heal it. Muchas de las bendiciones. A lot of the blessings. Y promesas. And promises. Que Dios nos quiere dar. That God wants to give us. Quiere que sean con un corazón sano. He wants them to be with a healed heart. Que, la, que las recibamos con un corazón sano. That we can receive them with a healed heart. Que ha perdonado. A heart who has forgiven. Que ha sido restaurado. A heart who has been restored. Y quiero leerles lo que dice Salmo 51, 10. And I want to read what says in Psalms 51, 10. Creating me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Entonces, Dios quiere que nosotros debemos de anhelar que Dios cree en nosotros un nuevo corazón. So, we must ask the Lord to give us a clean heart. Sano de dolor. Heal of pain. Traición. Heal of cheating. Y lleno de identidad de hijas de Dios. And filled with his identity. Okay. Y, bueno, había esta promesa. Yo desde pequeña tenía esta promesa. Bueno, desde que la recibí, cuando estaba contando que la recibí de parte de Dios de que me iba a casar. So, when I received that promise from God that I was going to get married. Okay, regresé a Ecuador después I, de estar en Estados Unidos estudiando. I came back to Ecuador after being in the United States studying. Y ahí seguía el que ahora es mi esposo en ese tiempo, mi pretendiente, seguía ahí orando por mí. And during that period of time, my now husband, he, he, he kept on praying for me. Y en ese tiempo eh, se me declaró, yo le dije que sí. And in that time, he declared his love for me, and I said yes. Pero mis papás no estaban muy convencidos. But my parents weren't sure about it. Uh, mis padres son pastores. My parents are pastors. Y mi papá es muy, muy protector. And my dad is really protective. Entonces como, oh, vamos a orar, vamos a ver si es. So he was like, it's okay, we're going to pray, we're going to see what happens. Yo no, el tiempo, yo quiero ya. <laughs> But I was working out of time. <laughs> ya tenía 27, 28 en ese tiempo. I was already 27 at that time. Y hay algo precioso y es que las promesas, dice la palabra, se, hay que esperarlas, hay que ser pacientes. And there's something precious about promises, and it is that we have to wait for them. En Hebreo 6:12, and Hebrew 6:12, dice, Leado. it says, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Entonces, entendí. So then I realized que con fe, that with faith y paciencia, and patience, heredaría las promesas. I will inherit the promise. Entonces tuve que ser paciente. So I had to be patient. Decirle, no podemos este, estar en una relación ahora. I had to tell him, we can't be in a relationship right now. Pero si me esperas. But if you wait for me. Vamos a, a estar en el futuro. We will be together in the future. Y empecé a orar bastante por esto. So I started praying a lot about this. Porque Dios quiere que también nosotros participemos en eso, que le creamos. Because God wants us to be participating in that process. Que le creamos. That he wants us to believe in him. Entonces yo empecé a orar. So I started praying. Señor, tú vas a poner el querer como el hacer en mi papá. God, you will put... Um, que lo acepte. You, you will make my parents accept him. <laughs> yes. Eh, este, entonces empecé a orar. Señor, tu palabra dice. So I started praying. God, your word says. Que tú no vas a permitir. That you will not allow. Que nos pase algo más fuerte. That something stronger than us que happens. No, que no podamos soportar. Something that we can't bear sino que nos darás But you will give us el camino de salida o la respuesta. The way out or the answer. Y empecé a orar conforme a la palabra. So I started praying according to the word of God. Um, yo quiero 
decirles a ustedes. I want to tell you right now que cuando Abraham, that when Abraham y Sara and Sarah recibieron la promesa, received the promise, empecé, empezaron a Abraham creyó, pero Sara empezó a decir cómo va a ser posible si ya estoy vieja, he dejado de menstruar, eh, tantas cosas han pasado, ¿cómo será posible? Abraham believed in that promise, but Sarah, she was thinking about everything else, like I stopped bleeding, I'm old, I don't know how this is going to happen. Y esa, esos son impedimentos. And those are barriers. Que, que Dios quiere que nosotros, eh, cuando sucedan en nuestra vida, empecemos a orar la voluntad de Dios. That God wants us to pray about it, uh, pray for God's will on that in our lives. In our lives. Entonces, um, empecé a decirle, Señor, tu palabra dice. So I started saying, God, your word says que tu this, voluntad es buena. That your will is good, agradable, perfecta. And perfect. y, y Señor, tu palabra dice que si yo te entrego todo a ti, tú vas a enderezar mi camino. And God, your word says that if I gave everything to you, you will change my path. Señor, tu palabra dice que tú vas a conceder las peticiones de mi corazón. God, your word says that you will give me what I want in my heart. Y fue tremendo lo que pasó luego de esas oraciones. It was tremendous what happened after those prayers. Mi papá un día entró a mi cuarto. My dad sometime one day. One day my dad came to my room y me dijo siento de parte de Dios. And he told me I feel from God que lo que tú decidas that what you decide va a ser la voluntad de Dios. Will be God's will. Y yo te voy a apoyar. So I will support you en esa decisión. In that decision. Y eso trajo tanta paz a mi corazón. And that brings so much peace to my heart. Era mi sueño cumplido. It was my dream come true. Nunca tuve una relación que mis padres aprobaran. I've never had a relationship before that my parents were okay with. Eh, estaba feliz. I was happy. Estaba agradecida. I was thankful con Dios. With God por permitirlo. For allowing that en el en el tiempo correcto. In the perfect time. Porque eh, antes de que eso pasara, yo le dije, Señor, yo ya no puedo con esto, yo te lo entrego. Because before that happened, I already told the Lord, Lord, I can't deal with it. I gave it to you. Pero te lo entrego de verdad. <laughs> But I really give it to you, like completely. No es como que te lo entrego un poquito y yo me quedo con la otra parte. No, like, I give you this part and I'm keeping this one. No, completely. No, te confío en mi vida. Like, I give you my life. Lo que, lo que tú quieras. Whatever you want. Y pasó. And it happened. Entonces, luego, sin que yo le dijera. So, after that. Be, sin que yo le dijera, ay, que es mi esposo ahora. It, without me having to say it to my now husband. Él me buscó. He came to me. Y me dijo, yo quiero casarme contigo. And he told me, I want to marry you. Yo quiero una familia. I want to have a family with you. Quiero servir al Señor contigo. I want to serve the Lord with you. Y ese día fue eh, el día de la promesa cumplida. And that was the day of the fulfillment of the promise of God. Y el 12 de este mes. And the 12 of this month. Cumplimos dos años de casados. We, um, we had our second anniversary de casados of marriage <laughs> y este fui a, al doctor el otro día so I went to the doctor the other day y me dice tú estás perfecta para tener hijos and the doctor said you are perfectly able to have children y yo gracias señor and I thank the Lord porque veo que los tiempos de Dios son perfectos because I can see that God's timing is perfect y quiero motivarlas a que no se desanimen And I want to encourage you to don't give up. Que confíen en la buena voluntad de Dios. Trust in God's good will. 
en todas las áreas. In every area. En el área emocional. En your emotional area. Familiar. Family. Eh, a veces problemas financieros que hay. El Señor ha prometido que lo va a proveer. Financial problems. Anything. God has promised he will provide. Provide. En todas las áreas he visto la fidelidad de Dios. I've seen God's faithfulness in every area of my life. Y eh, quiero que, que vean cómo Dios cumplió con Abraham. And I want you to see how God did, did this with Abraham. En Génesis 21. In Genesis 21. Del 1 al 7. From 1 to 7. Lo tiene. Ya. Yeah. Eh, Dios cumplió su promesa. Génesis 21. Del 1 al 7. Okay. Genesis 21, from 1 to 7, it says, And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God has commanded him. And Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And, he, and she said, who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. Entonces, era contra todo pronóstico. So it happened against any, against any circumstances, it happened. Sí, y hay una palabra, yo decía, Señor, eh, ¿qué quieres decirle a tus hijas hoy? And during this preaching, I was asking the Lord, what do you want me to tell, to tell them tonight? Y el Señor eh, puso en mi corazón est esta oración. And God put in my heart this sentence. Voy a cumplir lo que prometí. I will do what I promise. Lo que Él te prometió lo va a cumplir. When He has promised you, He will do. No dudes. Don't doubt it. Dice la palabra que el que se acerca a Dios. The word of God says that the one who comes near the Lord. Tiene que creer. Has to trust him. Y que, y que él va a recompensarle. And that he will pay that. O, eh, recompensarle a los que buscan de él. He will. Reward. Reward those who believe in him. Y buscan de él en oración. And who seek him in prayer. Si hay algo que no entiendes que está pasando en tu vida. So if there's something that you don't understand that is happening right now in, in your life. Y eh, dices esto no se parece and, a, a lo que Dios me prometió. And you say this is, this doesn't look like what God has promised to me. Permanece. Just persevere. Y empieza a interceder. And start to pray. Que el Señor te muestre. That God shows you que, que, que decisión tienes que tomar. What decision you must do. Y que, que, cómo es que tienes que empezar a orar. How you must start to pray. Y el Señor te va a guiar. And he will guide you. Pero la promesa hecha está y, y va a ser cumplida. But the promise is done and it will happen. Y quiero cerrar con, antes, bueno, voy a orar, pero quiero que lean Romanos 4, del 16 al 20. And I want you to, to read Romans 4, del 16 al 20. From 16 to 20. Okay. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, Abraham, who is the father of us all. Hasta el 20. Okay. 
as it is written, I have made three beef a father of many nations. Before him, whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as thought they were, who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now that when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the, the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Amen. Vamos a orar. So we'll pray right now. Padre Celestial. Heavenly Father. Te pido hoy por tus hijas. I pray tonight for your daughters. Tú has dado promesas. You have given some promises. En el ministerio. On their ministries. En el área de su corazón. To their hearts. En todas las áreas de su In vida. Every aspect of their lives. Y quizás eh, están desanimadas. And maybe right now they are discouraged. Quizás están preocupadas. Maybe right now they are anxious and worried. Pero te entregamos todo eso delante de ti. But we pull up that in front of you. Confiando. Trusting. Que vas a hacer algo poderoso. That you will do something powerful. Obra en nosotros, Señor. Work in us, Lord. Tu palabra dice. Your word says. Que lo que tú comenzaste en nosotras. That what you started in us. Padre, tú lo vas a perfeccionar. You will make. Make it perfect. Y en el nombre de Jesús. And in the name of Jesus. Oro. I pray. Para que tú abras sus oídos espirituales. That you will open their spiritual ears. Y sus ojos. And their eyes. Y puedan ver. And they can see. Lo hermoso. Lo precioso. Los planes hermosos y preciosos. The amazing and precious plans you have. Que tienes para ellas. For them. Cúmplelo, Señor. Fulfill them, Father. Llénalas de fe. Fill them with faith. Llénalas de unción. Fill them with anointing. E eso que solo viene de ti, Señor. With that that just comes from you. Ese amor. That love. Esa identidad. That identity. De hijas de Dios. Of God's daughters. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Hablo palabras de vida. I speak words of life. Hay algunas. There are some here que habían renunciado that had renounced al llamado to God's calling. Y en el nombre de Jesús. And in the name of Jesus. En este momento. In this time, el Señor recuerda sus promesas a tu vida. God is remembering his promises to your lives. Y él las va a cumplir. And he will complete them. Porque Él no es hombre para mentir. Because He is not a man to lie. Él es Dios. He is God. Es su Padre. He is His Father. Su Padre, el Padre de ellas. God is our Father. Y Él lo va a hacer. And He will do it. Te doy gloria, Señor. I give you glory, Lord. Te doy gracias. I thank you, Father. Y gracias, Señor. And thank you. Por las mujeres. For every woman que están confiando who are trusting en sus futuros esposos que tú vas a, a darle su futuro that esposos. you will give them their future husbands oramos por ellos we pray for them prepara sus corazones prepare their hearts y el corazón de ellas and your daughter's hearts para poder recibir esa promesa to receive that promise y en el nombre de Jesús in the name of Jesus hecho está that is done lo creemos. We believe it. Y reprendemos. Reprendemos toda trampa. And we deny every, every work of the devil. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Padre. Thank you, Father. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gracias, <laughs> William. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise God. Ladies, this was the day of promises being fulfilled. 
We are so grateful, uh, Pastor Raquel, for just re releasing a, 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 a confirmation for some women. Some women just needed to know that their promises didn't just fall on, on dead grounds or roots, but that those promises are being fulfilled in their lives. Well, ladies, single ladies, that was your word. That was your word. Those husbands are coming, amen? Amen. Praise God. Women who have been wanting children, who have, who have felt that there's been a barrenness in their souls and in their spirit. That's your word. I see you, Cheryl. That's your word. This is the night to receive your word. I, I don't believe that there's not a minister on here, whether they worship in song or in word, that this is not your word. If you are here tonight, this was your word. Promises will be fulfilled and there needs to be a process. Thank you, Pastor Raquel, for reminding us of the process. Sometimes we get caught up in the, prom the process and forget about the promise. But God has the promise and the process is what's bringing us through. Come on, y'all. I hear you, women. Grab a hold of it this evening. It belongs to you.